So mum's going out tonight and we have decided that we're going to use the new Bobbi Brown palette, which is got these lovely colours, okay? Um, and it's called the Fevered Dream Eyeshadow Palette. Um, but first of all, because mum's got her foundation and concealer on, we're just going to powder her eyelids, okay? So just the eyelids. We're not going to powder underneath because we don't want to put any light, you know, powder in the wrinkles or anything. But this will keep the eyeshadow, it'll give the eyeshadow something to cling to. Okay, so just the eyelids, let's give them a dust. Okay. Right, and now we're going to go for the lighter colour, first of all, out of these. But we're going to go a bit stronger than normal. We're going to go for the sparkly one first, okay? Right, so I'm going to use my flat eyeshadow brush and get that colour. Okay, so just close your eyes on. Let me see, yeah, right. So I'm going to take this colour over the whole eyelid. And even though we did a tutorial with Mum the other day about hooded eyes and keeping keeping the inside um, a lighter shade, keeping this corner here lighter, you can break the rules. And if you want a real dark, smoky eye, then you need to cover the whole lid in a um, in a stronger colour. Okay. This is really pretty, this colour, because it picks up the light as well. It's got a little bit of sparkle in it. And it's actually really easy to blend. It's not a really super strong pigment, so it's nice and movable. Can just face move it, Mum? I just find it hard to work. Sorry. Right. Okay, so you can see I'm just taking it over the bulbous part of the eyelid. Okay. Look up. So if there's any droppage, just as you go along, use your concealer brush or foundation brush just to clear up underneath. Right, so let's look at the camera, Mum. We've got that base colour on Mum's eyelids. We're now going to go for that lovely kind of terracotta colour as the contour. So I'm using my um, my contour brush from the kit. So knock the excess off this because it's quite a bold colour. Okay. So fill that corner first and then take it up into the socket line. It's a really lovely colour this actually. But it's quite bold, so not many people will probably go for it. I think once you've got your confidence, do you think, Mum? Like once oh, you know yeah. where you're putting it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. You try it. Oh, I'll have a go at anything. Being a bit bolder. But okay, just open. Okay, so I'm just going to... Now Mum's got her eyes open. When you keep your eyes open, you can kind of see exactly where... You might have missed or needs a bit more blending. Okay, give that corner a bit more. Right, so I'm going to take that same colour underneath Mum's eye. Right, guys, so I'm going to take that same colour underneath Mum's eye. Could you just look up slightly, Mum? I'm just going to rub that along the lower lash line. But you can see I'm not taking it all the way in, okay? Okay, and then this side. If you think you've gone too far or too deep with this colour or, you know, you've put too much on, just put some foundation on your foundation brush and just clean it up. Make a make a nice clean line underneath. So you just get your brush like this and then just take it across and it just takes off any excess. Okay, look at the mirror on. Right, so at the minute she's looking very orangey. So we're going to add that deep brown colour now. To the outside so i'm going to use my nice small pointier pointier brush this one and we're going for the dark brown color now this one okay so just close mum so along that lower lash line just on the edge and then keeping that in the corner keep, keep giving it a circular wiggle and take it into that push it into that socket line keeping it all, all on the edges. Okay, and then that one can also go underneath. Like that. Okay, and then clear up any excess. If you think it's too much. Okay, 
Okay, so mum's got the three colours on now, right? And then we're going to add some eyeliner, some cold pencil. Okay, so this is going to jazz this up. So we're going to run this along the lash line, okay? This is just black cold pencil. And push it into your lashes. And keep that little flick at the end there. You haven't got to take it all the way into the inner corner if you don't want to. And again, this side. It helps if you sort of kind of pull the eyelid out, it stretches the skin. Okay. And then you can smudge that, smudge that line if you want to. If it's a bit wonky or anything, just give it a smudge. I'm just using the eyebrow brush here because it's nice and thin. Okay. Then we're going to put some mascara on. Okay, so look in the mirror, Mum. Look in the mirror. Right. So I always find that this look all comes together once the blush is on, because otherwise it just looks too strong within the eyes. Right. So I'm using. I've just introduced Mum to. I've got a test of the um, Bad Girl Benefit Bad Girl mascara, which is really nice, and I love the wand on this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to run the, the brush this way along the lower lashes. So just like a, just give them a tickle. Okay, just face this way a bit more on. So just using the end to colour those bottom lashes in. Okay. Right, we're going to add bronzer to this and it's going to bring the whole look together. Okay, so we put a big brush. I'm using a Bare Minerals bronzer here. Follow that contour up. Take some under your jawline and it shadows your jawline, gives you a little bit of an edge. Okay, your face this way, Mum. That's it. So I'm just buffing this on, really. You can still see the highlighted part where I put concealer earlier. A little bit on the nose, a little bit over the forehead. Okay, and then we're gonna add the blush. Like you know, this is my favourite product in makeup. So this is the Kiko Velvet Touch in, what colour is it? Can't see. Mm -hmm. Don't know the colour. Uh, oh, here you go, 06. Right, so I'm using the blusher brush that's in the kit, just on top of that. It's a really lovely peachy terracotta colour, so it'll go with mum's eyes. Okay, I always dab a little with my hands. And then just smile, mum. So I'm just dabbing that on mum's cheek. Taking it up a little bit. Okay, and then this side. I just think blusher really brings together the whole look and just looks fresh and pretty. Okay, a little bit on the nose. Right, that's nice. Okay, and then for some, mum said she wanted to know more about highlighter, yeah? Mm. So, I've said before that highlighter can sit in the lines when you're older, so you don't want to have a powder highlighter if possible. You can have a liquid highlighter, but I also find that if you use an oil, so something like this, this is my friend, where are you, Cyber Skin, this is her facial oil. You can literally put a drip, drip of this on your hand and then put the oil on the area that should be highlighted. And you can just top this up through the evening. Sorry, Mum, just face this way. You can top that up through the evening if you take some in your bag. And that gives you a glisten without looking powdery or over the top or anything. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, right. you know, and also it will soothe your wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> two in one. Two in one. Bit late now. <laughs>